Hello, my name is Joseph Leung, and I'm a professor of medicine at the University of California Davis School of Medicine, and also the chief of gastroenterology at the Sacramento VA Medical Center, VA Northern California Healthcare System. The presentation is on the vital signs and serum electrolyte levels are well preserved after large volume water exchange in the colonic lumen used with the water method. This is a collaborative study between the Sapalveda Ambulatory Care Center, VA Greater Los Angeles Healthcare System, and the Sacramento VA Medical Center, VA Northern California Healthcare System. The water method is superior to conventional air insufflation for screening and surveillance colonoscopy. In randomized control trial, it reduces sedation medication requirement, attenuates discomfort, and enhances sequel intubation in unsedated patients. Adult or pediatric colonoscopes are used. The air button is turned off prior to scope insertion. Water at 37 degrees Celsius is infused using an infusion pump and connected to the scope channel with a blunt needle adapter or the auxiliary irrigation channel. Air is suctioned to collapse the colon and water is infused to identify and open the lumen to facilitate insertions of the colonoscope. The water method entails the use of warm water infusion in lieu of air insufflation. Up to one to two liters of water are usually infused and removed during a 15 to 20 minutes interval of scope insertion. Dirty water is suctioned followed by infusion of clean water to aid scope advancement until the cecum is reached and the appendix opening is seen under water. The water is suctioned and air insufflated to distend the colon to facilitate examination. Most of the infused water is suctioned almost as soon as it is infused to minimize over distension of the colon. Any residual water is suctioned on scope withdrawal and the polyps removed or biopsy. The safety of the water method has not been critically evaluated. In this study, we report the vital signs and serum electrolytes before and after large volume water exchange used with the water method. Data from patients in two randomized control trials comparing the use of air versus water method for unsedated colonoscopy are analyzed. Unsedated patients are chosen for evaluation to avoid the confounding effects of sedation medications on vital signs. Patients' vital signs immediately before insertion and immediately after removal of the colonoscope were tabulated for analysis. Blood samples were drawn within 5 to 10 minutes before and after colonoscopy for measuring the serum sodium and potassium levels using the iStep machine. The mean blood pressure, pulse, and oxygen saturation before and after colonoscopy are shown in the table. There were no significant differences in vital signs before and after colonoscopy in either the air or water method group. All patients were in normal sinus rhythm before and after the colonoscopy. The serum sodium and potassium before and after colonoscopy are shown in the table. There were no significant differences between the serum sodium and potassium level before and after colonoscopy in either the air or the water group. Overall, the mean volumes of water used were 1500 milliliters in the water method and 75 milliliters in the air group. In summary, there were no significant correlations between the change in vital signs or serum electrolytes measured and the volume of water used. In conclusion, vital signs and serum electrolyte levels are well preserved after large volume water exchange in the colonic lumen used with the water method. The water method is a safe modality for examination of the colon.